Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knock ring letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Oh, good morning, Arthur. Look what I won in the police raffle last night. That's great. Uh, what is it? It's a bowling ball and Skittles. <laughs> You're not supposed to knock them over like that, Jess. This is the way to do it. Oh, bowling. Oh, I love bowling. I used to go on summer evenings when I was a girl. Really? And I shouldn't say this, but I used to be rather good. Maybe we could have a bowling night in Greendale. Tonight on the Village Green. Oh, I could set up my skittles. And I could make some lemonade. I could even set up my garden swing. We could have teams of two and make it a friend's bowling night. That sounds like a great idea. OK, can we all settle down now? Sarah, there's a spare chair next to Lucy. Oh, no. You can't sit there. That's Susie's chair. Who? My friend Susie. She's sitting there. Oh. Oh, I see. Susie, eh? Well, I'd better put her on the register then. <laughs> <laughs> There's a spare chair here, Sarah. Thank you, Mira. Right then. If we're all ready, let's get started. Good morning, little ones. Oh, aren't you looking splendid this morning? Good morning, Reverend. Oh, hello, Pat. I was just talking to my flowers. They grow so much better if you chat to them. Mm, yes. Reverend, I've come to tell you that we're having a bowling night. Tonight on the Village Green. Teams of two. Are you interested? Bowling? Oh, how splendid! But uh, who could I ask to come with me? What about Mrs Goggins? What a good idea! Meow. So me and Pat are organising a bowling night. Tonight on the Village Green. Bowling? You've each got to go with a friend. Teams of two only. Teams of two, eh? Nisha and I will make a great team, won't we, love? I'd love to, Ajay. But I'm taking Nikhil to see Granny in Pencaster this evening. Oh, never mind. I'll go with Pat. Uh, hang on there. I was going to ask Pat if he'd come with me. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're great at skipping, Susie. Hi, Lucy. Can I play? Yeah, Susie and I are finished now. <laughs> what? Oh, nothing. Just something Susie said. 
<laughs> I'll have to start my bowling training straight away. See you later, love. Bye. See you later. I don't mean to brag, but I was a pretty keen bowler in my day. But you haven't seen me swinging a bowling ball. Oh, hello, Pat. Now, who's going to be your partner for the friends' bowling tonight? Me or Ajay? Well, actually, Ted, I was going to go with... I know. Let's have a practice with Mira's football. That'll sort it out. Good idea. <laughs> Oh, no. Sorry, Ted. Don't worry. Uh, I'm OK. Well, if you're all right, I'd better be on my way. See you later. Hang on, Pat. We haven't finished. It's me, Jess. Yeah. It looks like Ted and Ajay are following us. Oh, thanks, Pat. Um, would you take a parcel back for me? Yes, of course. I'll just pop and get it. Hello, Pat. Now, about tonight... I think it would be much better if you were my bowling partner. Well, I would like to, but... Hello, Pat. You and I make a great team, you know. Yes, we would, but... You should see those skittles fly when I throw that ball. Yes, but the thing is, Ted... It's all to do with the way you stand. See? My stand is somewhat like this. Mine is more, you know... In line with the ball. Like this. Cheerio. What do you think? Well, you look very nice to me. But... Why don't you practice for the bowling with Alf's empty milk churns? That'd be grand. We could line them up like real skittles. Right. There you go, Ted. Oops. Sorry, Ajay. <laughs> I'd better try it out. You know, just to make sure it's safe. Oh, it's still squeaking. Don't worry, Pat. I've got some oil at home that'll sort that out. <laughs> it's quite fun, actually. <laughs> Whee! Oh, yes, lovely. Oh, yes, that's fine. Very safe indeed. Hello, Dr Gilbertson. Girls, are you coming to the bowling night? Well, I would, Pat, but I don't have anyone to go with. Oh, uh, would you, uh, you know, would you like to come with me? Oh, I would love to, Arthur. Thank you. <laughs> you look a bit fed up, Sarah. Aren't you looking forward to the bowling night? Not really. I haven't got anyone to go with. Lucy's got a pretend friend called Susie. So I'm not Lucy's best friend anymore. Oh, I'm sure you are. I don't think so. Well, why don't you have a pretend friend too? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> Thanks, Pat. Come on, girls, we have to go now. Bye, Pat. I'll see you later. Bye. Don't get too comfy up there, Jess. <laughs> We'd better be off too. Oh, Pat, there you are. And there's the bowling ball. Now we can practice with the real thing. Good idea. Oh, 
Oh, hang on a minute. I can't get my thumb out. Neither can I. We're stuck. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't worry. PC Selby's got some oil. That should help get the ball off. Won't be long. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> get off, will you? Oh. Oh. <laughs> have you met Lucy's friend Susie, Pat? No, I don't think I have. Susie, this is Pat. Pat, this is Susie. Pleased to meet you, Susie. I saw Sarah earlier. She seemed a bit sad. Oh, dear. Why? She didn't think Lucy wanted to be her friend anymore. Oh, I do. It's just I want Susie to be my friend, too. Maybe you should tell her that then, Lucy. Yes. Oh, the oil. I almost forgot. Oh, yes. For the swing. Or just get it. No, it's not the swing. That'll have to wait. We got a bit of an emergency on the green. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> if we lift it up high... Oh! <laughs> no, that hurts. How about if you turn that way? Here's the oil. We should have your thumbs out in no time. Right, let's pull. Ooh. Oops. Uh, sorry, Jess. Strike. Well done, son. Hello, everyone. This looks like fun. Hi, Lucy. This is my new friend, Sam. Oh, hello, Sam. I think it's your turn to bowl now, Lucy. Oh, great. Come on, Susie. Oh, oh Sarah. Please, will you be my bowling partner? I thought you didn't need me to be your best friend anymore. I do. I'm really sorry if I wasn't nice to you at school today. But what about Susie? Susie can sit with Sam. I don't think she likes bowling. Oh. <laughs> OK. Bye, Sam. See you later. Bye, Susie. Bye, Sam. <laughs> Done, Mrs. Goggins. Well done indeed. A strike. Who's it going to be, Pat? Who are you going to choose? Hello, everyone. Are we ready to knock them dead then, Pat? Eh? Mm -hmm. That's what I've been trying to tell you. I'd already agreed to be Sarah's bowling partner. My gum. We can't play if we haven't got a partner. Oh, why don't you be each other's partner? You've both been practising together. Yeah, that's true enough. And you're both my good friends. He's right, you know. Come on, Ted. Let's show them how it's done. <sighs> well done, Pat. That's another team of friends you've made. Hey. You put together all the teams here tonight. Did I? Well, the Reverend and me. Uh, me and Dr Gilbertson. Pat helped us be a team too. Come on then, Pat. Time to put our team into action. <laughs> right you are. Here goes. Oh. Strike! Hooray! Nice one! Hooray! <laughs> Looks like you can knock them down as well as put them together. <laughs> <laughs> Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat had his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just.
just beginning Pat feels he's a really happy man Everybody knows his bright red van All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knock Ring letters through your door <laughs> Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat And his black and white cat Singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. These parcels are all addressed to you, Pat. Ah, that'll be the plants I've been waiting for. Sarah's having a day out, so I'm tidying up the garden while she's away. As a surprise. Oh, how lovely. <laughs> well, you've got your work cut out here, Pat. Yes, I'd better get this stuff into the van. I'll give you a hand, Pat. Oh, dear. I wonder where Pat's got to. Oh, I've been looking forward to this day out for ages. <laughs> Me too. What are you lot doing today? We're going to be knights. Knights? Look, we've got our own shields and everything. Come on. Oh. And come on, Pat. I knight you, Sir Julian. Knight of Greendale. What's that for? I'm making him a proper knight. Can I be one too? No. Why not? Because you're a girl. Girls can't be knights. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Right then. <sighs> girl knights against boy knights. Right. Come on, Julian. Um, Mira, what sort of things do knights do? Well... They rescue people. And live in big castles. And have battles with dragons and things, don't they? Oh, right. Oh, Pat, thank goodness you're home. We're off to the station to catch the Greendale rocket. You've got a lovely day for it. Bye. 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 Come on, Jess. Meow. Action station. <laughs> Come on, you lot. Could you give me a hand, please? No problem. The Greendale Knights can do anything. Oh, uh, oh I don't think I can. Told you girls can't be knights. Nice. You're not strong enough. Oh, yes, we are. We're faster, too. <laughs> oh. oh no, are you all right? Yeah, yeah. sorry I'm Pat right. Tell you what, why don't you knights leave the garden to me? Oh, okay then What shall we do now? I know! Let's look for dragons, just like the real knights do. D -d -d dragons? Do we have to? You'll never be a knight, Lucy. Girls are scared of everything. No, we're not. I'm not scared of anything, especially dragons. Oh! Huh? It's a dragon. That's no dragon, Lucy. <laughs> That's Alf in his tractor. Just in time, too. Phew! <laughs> Only a girl would be frightened of a tractor. What 
What is it, Dad? It's going to be an arbor, Julian. You make it into an art shape, plant roses all around, and they grow up it. Oh, pretty. Ah, and Ted will be here soon to finish it off. Goodness, not long until Sarah gets back. We'd better get this new flower bed made. Right you are, Pat. I'm a better knight than you. <gasps> no, you're not. You haven't even got any armour. Neither of you. Hey. I know what you need. These. Sacks? Yes, but they look like chain mail, see? Just like knights used to wear in battle. Oh. Wow! You look great, Julian! Thanks, Dad. Can you make one for me? And me! Go away, you silly fly. Take that. And, and that. <laughs> you look like your soul fighting, Pat. Swords. That's what knights need. Almost finished. We just need Ted and his tools to make it nice and steady while we tidy up the mess. Here we go. Wooden swords. Ooh. Great. I'm glad, Bill. Take that. We'll see about that. Take that. Come on, Lucy. We can have a duel too. <laughs> Do we have to? On guard! <gasps> oh. oh, sorry. Oh, Lucy. Maybe Bill's right. Girls can't be knights. We are the Greendale Knights, and we are good and strong. We travel around Greendale, righting every wrong. We have our shiny helmets, we have our victory song. We've made our suits of armour, and we like to put them on. We are the Greendale Knights, so dragons you beware. We're always on our guard. And not easy to scare With our mighty swords Protecting all the land We hold our heads up high And together we will stand <laughs> Look out! Meow! <laughs> 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 Sorry, Jess Meow! <laughs> we didn't mean to frighten you Bill! Look what you've done! Sorry, Dad Oh, I think it's time you knights took a break Meow! <laughs> Why don't you go inside for some juice and sandwiches? OK. Sorry, Dad. We just wanted to be real knights. But everything keeps going wrong. And we haven't even got a castle. Hmm. Maybe they can have a castle after all. Hey, How's that, Pat? Julian! We're coming, Dad! Come on, knights! Ooh. You said you needed a castle. Wow! Oh. Cheese on peas! It's brilliant! Thanks, Dad! Oh, it's so pretty! Come on, let's try it out! Hey, I think they like it, but... Yes, thanks, Alf. Now, I wonder what's happened to Ted. Ah, he should be here by now. <laughs> Look, I'm the queen of the castle. No, I'm the king of the castle. Why don't you both be king and queen together? Good idea, Lucy. 
And I'll be the brave prince. And you can be the castle guard. The guard? The castle guard raises the alarm if we get attacked. It's a very important job because you have to protect the castle and everyone in it. Oh dear. See you later. Oh no. Quick, quick, there's something coming. What is it? Where's all that smoke and fire coming from? Maybe it's smoke from a dragon. No. Look, it's a scary night. A real one. What's that in his hand? Oh, no. He's got a fire sword. Ah! Oh, no. Wait, I'm the castle guard. I need to protect my friends. Ted! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to give you a fright. I've come to fix the arbor for Pat. Do you know where he's got to? He's there. What's wrong? We heard shouting. Oh, hello, Ted. I was wondering where you'd got to. Dad! Dad! Lucy saved us from a scary night. You were really brave, Lucy. Just like a proper knight in shining armour. Dad, would you knight Lucy for us? I'd be honoured. Me? A proper knight? Wow! I knight you, Lady Lucy Selby, Knight of Greendale. Hooray! Hooray! Oh, it's been such a lovely day. Yes, I can't remember when I last had so much fun. Oh, no. Here they come. And the garden's still not finished. Don't worry, Pat. We'll help. Come on, knights! We are the Greendale Knights With chainmail on our backs It came from Postman Pat He made it from his sacks Searching for adventure We travel near and far a car. <laughs> oh, what a day. <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> Welcome home, Lady Sarah. <laughs> Come on, Mum. You have to walk through us to get to the back garden. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> This is the most beautiful garden I've ever seen. How did you do all of this? Well, everyone helped. Oh, Pat, you really are a knight in shining armour. <laughs> that makes two of us then, Lucy. Not again. Postman, postman pets, can you guess what's in his bag? Is there a letter? Yeah. Postman pet, postman pet, postman pet, and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning. He picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. 
all his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knocking ring letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Salad, sausage casserole, they all sound yummy. I wonder which recipe Chef Olivier is going to cook. Just fancy, a famous chef coming to Greendale. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <gasps> oh, no. Oops. Looks like you could learn a thing or two from Chef Olivier, Pat. Sorry, love. Oh, don't worry. Come on, I'll make you some breakfast. Oh, dear. I don't have time. I'd better be heading to the post office. This'll do me. Cheerio, love. Bye, Pat. Morning, Mum. Any breakfast? <laughs> there you go, Jess. <laughs> I think Sarah's right, Jess. I think I should learn to cook. Meow. Meow. I'm a much better chef than you. You can't even cook. Can too. You can't. Can. Can't. Can. Can't. Can. Can't. That's enough, you two. If you both want to be chefs so badly, why don't you give me a hand? Gardening? I'm picking some fruit and vegetables to cook. Oh, look, there's Alf. Hello there, Alf. Shh. You'll scare the fish away. Oh, I see. I I'm sorry, Alf. Have you caught much? Nay, not a bite. And I'm trying to catch a fish for that Chef Olivier's cooking class. <laughs> oh, whack. That was my last bit of bait. Hang on, Alf. I might have something you can try. Ah. Hey, I'll give it a shot. I'd best be going. Good luck, Alf. Ah, hi. Thanks, Pat. Uh, cheerio. <laughs> Well, I never. Ha! I pick more than you. No, you haven't. I'm much faster. Says who? Me. Race you. Tom. Katie. Catch, Mum. Oh. Stop! Oh. <gasps> Come on, you two. I think you might be safer helping out in the kitchen. Oh. Hello, Mrs. Goggins. <gasps> oh. Oh, hello, Pat. I didn't see you there. You've got a lot of cherries to sell there. Oh, they're not for the shop, Pad. These are from my garden for Chef Olivier. I'm so looking forward to his cooking class. Could you give me a wee hand to prepare them? I'd love to, Mrs Goggins, but I'm not very good at cooking. Oh, it's very easy. Look. Well, OK, I'll give it a go. 
Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, dear. I am sorry, Mrs. Goggins. Oh, it's okay, Pat. Maybe you'd be best off delivering the post. Yes, good idea. Now, we put the fruit in there, then whiz it all up, and we'll have a lovely fruit drink. Can I ah. press the button, Mum? No, me! Not yet. First we have to... Oh! Put the lid on. I wonder what's making that funny noise. Come on, Jess. Yeah. Hello, Ted. Hello there, Pat. Come and take a look at me latest invention. What do you think? Uh, mm, well, it's great, Ted, but uh, <laughs> what does it do? It's a sausage-making machine. All you have to do is pull this lever down. Uh, uh. Here, Ted, I'll give you a hand. Oh. Uh. Uh. Oh. 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 There you go. Perfect sausages. Wow. Well done, Ted. Oh, it was nothing. Simple, really. Jess! Oh, heck. Quick, but let's get this thing stopped. What am I going to do with all these sausages? Well, Jess could always have them for his tea. Meow. Here's your post. Bye, Ted. Mm. What can we do now, Mum? Watch. Hi, everyone. Hello, Pat. What do you think of our special kitchen what? for Chef Olivier? It looks great. Well done. Thanks, Dad. Do you want to try it out? Oh, no, I, I, I'm not very good at cooking. It's easy, Pat. It's easy. You see, you see, you just have to understand the science behind it. Now, take this egg, for example. It's just a, a, a an ordinary egg, but if you, you use... Just the white bit. You can add sugar and air and and it turns into meringue, like this. Oh, that's really clever, Charlie. And the mixture's ready when when you can tip the bowl upside down and it doesn't fall out. <laughs> See? Whoops! Oh dear. If I don't hurry up, I won't get finished in time to see Chef Olivier. Bye. Bye, Bye Dad. Meow. Um, it, uh, it's not time for the cookery class yet. We do. We just want to make sure we've got good seats. We're dying to get his autograph, aren't we, Lucy? Yes, Sarah? When's Chef Olivier going to be here? Oh, uh, well, I'm sure he'll be arriving any minute now. Whew. That was the last letter, Jess. Let's go. Can we have your autograph? 
autograph. I love you. Oh, Pat. Hello there, Sarah. Lucy. Oh, no. Am I too late? Have I missed the cookery class? No, Pat. Chef Olivier hasn't even arrived yet. Oh, dear. Yes, that's me. Oh, I see. Oh, dear. I hope he's feeling better soon. Yes, I, I understand. Thanks for letting us know. Uh, <clears throat> I'm afraid it's bad news, everyone. Aww. Chef Olivia's fallen sick and he'll not be able to make it to our cookery demonstration. What am I going to do with me sausages? And my cherries. And me fish. Wait a minute, everyone. Maybe we don't need Chef Olivier after all. Yes, we do. Not if we all work together. Have you still got that recipe book, Sarah? Yes. I brought it with me for Chef Olivier to sign. Well, it looks like we've got plenty of ingredients. So let's get cooking. Cooking, cooking, a wonderful thing to do. It's really very easy and very tasty too. Well done, Mr. Thompson. Well done, Mum. Just look at your finished food. Oh. We decided we don't want Chef Olivier's autograph. We'd like your autograph instead. <laughs> well, I never. <laughs> Thanks, Pat. You really saved the day. Chef Olivier would be proud of you. And so am I, love. Looks like you won't be burning the toast anymore. Eh, Chef Pat? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, everyone. Let's get stuck in. All this cooking's hungry work. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Feels he's a really happy man Everybody knows his bright red van All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them Maybe you can never be sure There'll be knock ring letters through your door <laughs> Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels 
Cause he's a really happy man Pat feels he's a really happy man Pat feels he's a really happy man What a lot of letters, Mrs Goggins Aye <laughs> Oh, and don't forget these cards for little Nickel's birthday. Oh, and there's this too. It's for Lucy Selby. <laughs> Looks like Nickel isn't the only one getting treats today. Well, I'd best be off. <sighs> Ted's filling up some helium balloons for Nickel's party. I promised to pick them up on my round. Oh, balloons, how lovely. Wish Nickel happy birthday from me. Will do. Bye, Mrs Goggins. Cheerio, pet. Hello, Julian. You're just in time. We're going to decorate Nikhil's cake. Mmm, it looks really good. It's a cherry cake. Nikhil's favourite. What colour icing shall we use? Did you ask Ted about the balloons? Yes. Pat's going to pick them up and bring them round later with the post. Post? Maybe you'll have my parcel. What parcel's that, Lucy? My auntie's on holiday and she's promised to send me a present. Ooh! What do you think it'll be? Oh, I don't know. Maybe face paints. Or a colouring set. Or modelling clay. Who wants to decorate this cake then? Me! Me! me, me. me. Morning, Ted. Post. Ted. Well? Hmm. Doesn't look like he's got very far with the balloons. Hey, Pat. You're just in time to see me test run. Test run? What are you wearing, Ted? It's me new invention. A one-man hover backpack. What's it for? Well, if I need to get up high, fix the roof or summit, I can just fly up. Fly? With that? Aye. Like this. Hmm. Right. Just rev her up. And up we go. Hey! Hey, oh! Oh! Look out, Jess! Oh! Are you all right, Ted? Aye, Pat. <laughs> Just needs a few minor adjustments, that's all. Hmm. I was wondering if you'd finished blowing up Nickel's balloons. The balloons? Here, clean forgot. Come on, Pat, we'll do them now. I wonder how big they go. Wow. Ted! Oh! How about I put the gas in and you tie the balloons? Mm, good idea. Now then, need someone to tie them to so they don't fly away. Ah, just the job. <laughs> You'll go. Oh, oh, oops. Oh, sorry, Nikhil. Nearly done. Hmm. What do you think, Nikhil? I wonder where Pat's got to with those balloons. We'll go and look for him. Yeah. Maybe you'll have my parcel too. OK, but don't be long. We want to start Nikhil's party soon. Uh. 
Nearly done. Hey up. It's B.C. Selby. I'll go and see what he wants. <laughs> Your car's looking very smart. Just cleaned it. Special issue police car polish, that. Uh, what can we do for you, Arthur? Wondered whether you had a parcel for my Lucy. She's expecting something from her auntie. Yes, there was something for Lucy. Oh, huh? no. Where's my post bag gone? Oh, dear. My post! My Lucy's parcel! Me balloons! Quick! We'd better get after it. Hold on, Pat. My panda car's quicker. Good idea, Arthur. Come on, Jess. I know. Me off a backpack. I'll be able to fly up and bring the post down in no time. Look, the wind's blowing it towards Alf's barn. Watch out. My lovely clean car. My God. Hey, what do they want? Hello, Alf. Hi, Dorothy. Oh, hello, Pat. Um, Pat, is that you a bag up there? Yes, we're trying to catch it. Hold on. It's got stuck on the roof. Hmm. Alf, have you got a ladder? Yeah. Right. Here we go. Oh, no. Hello, Mr. Glenn. We've come to help with the balloons. Where are they? And where are Dad and Jess? Um, I, I'm afraid we've had a, a, a spot of bother with Nickel's balloons. What kind of bother? Well, you see, I tied all the balloons to your dad's post bag. But there were so many, they lifted it off the ground. Wow! And they've all floated away! With my parcel! And Nikhil's balloons! No need to fret. Pat and PC Selby have gone after them. We'll soon bring them back. Let's help look for them. Oh, yes! yes. Bye, Bye <laughs> Here we go. <sighs> oh, me trousers. <gasps> oh, no. It's getting away again. Come on, Arthur. Good luck. Bye, Pat. I hope you catch it. That should definitely do it. And up we go. Whoa! 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 Now then, uh, uh, let's see. Um, here we go. Whoa! Whoa! Here we go. Whoa! Now, let's catch that post bag. <laughs> Come on! Look! There it is! Look! We'll get much closer if we cut through this field. Oh, I don't know. Uh, it's a bit muddy, Pat. You don't want it to get away, do you, Arthur? Uh, no, no, no. Where's it gone? What's that? A letter. Look, there are more of them. They must be falling out of Dad's post bag. If we follow them, we'll find the balloons. And Lucy's parcel. 
they must be here somewhere. There they are. Whoa! Where can they all be? Come on, let's go and find them. At last, the wind's died down. Now, how are we going to get it down? What's that? My goodness, it's Ted. Don't worry, I'll catch it. Steering's a bit tricky, mind. Um, I can't quite reach. Try popping some of the balloons. That should bring the bag back down. Right, old Pat. Ted. Told you me of a backpack would come in handy. Hey, Ted Glenn, pilot of the future. Here's Lucy's parcel, but... Oh no, where have all the letters gone? Here they are, Dad. Well done, you three. You've saved the post. What's Ted doing, Dad? Whoa! Oh, no. Look out, everyone! <laughs> Are you all right, Ted? Oh, I, I am. But my other backpack isn't. And neither are Nikhil's balloons. Oh, no! Oh, I am sorry, Nisha. Never mind. At least you got Pat's letters back safely. And Lucy's parcel. Oh, yes. Here you are, Lucy. Thanks, Mr Clifton. Aren't you going to see what's in it, Lucy? It is a modelling set. A balloon modelling set. Oh, with lots of balloons. Wow. wow. Just what we need for Nikhil's party. Hooray! <laughs> Well, Nikhil got his balloons after all. Thanks to Lucy. And thanks to Arthur's panda car. All in the line of duty. I could make you a machine to wash it if you like, Arthur. Uh, <clears throat> thanks, Ted. But I think I'll clean it myself if it's all the same to you. Whoa! <laughs> Don't worry, Ted. It's only Jess. And thanks to the children, Greendale still has its post. An airmail letter, eh? <laughs> I think we've had enough flying post for one day, don't you, Jess? <laughs> <laughs>